Hi guys, Trinae with Miss Smiling All Day. Trinae here, just doing a quick video about the rest of the Emerge line. Um, I showed you guys last time, if you wanna check out that first review of their shampoo, their conditioner, their leave-in conditioner, and their gel, go ahead and take a look at this link right here. And today we're just gonna do a quick review of their Back to Life hair mask and they're my everything buttercream. What I wanna do this time though, I'm gonna go ahead and last time when I did my hair, I just used the gel because I was trying to see if it was a moisturizing gel. But this time I'm going to do the my everything buttercream and then I'm going to put the gel on top of it and just see how it felt um, uh, when you use all of them together, when you use the, the cream and then the gel. Um, see how much more moisturizing it is and then I'll get back with you guys in a minute on that. I'm gonna wash my hair and I'll I'll uh, let you guys know what I think. Hey guys, we're back and I just finished washing my hair um, using the Emerge Back to Life Hair Mask, uh, Deep Conditioning, uh, Deep Condition and Revive. And honestly, um, when I used it, I felt like it wasn't very moisturizing. Like I felt like I, I put it in, I left it on for 15 minutes, and then I tried to detangle my hair, and it was kind of difficult, more difficult than I'm used to, um, but it still did get the job done, but it wasn't extremely moisturizing. What I felt was moisturizing, I'll say, was the leave-in conditioner that I used at the end. It was like, then I felt like, oh, my hair was so soft and moisturized this time. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and put on there my everything buttercream and then I'm going to go back through with their gel and see how, how it comes out this time around with the gel also. First thoughts about the buttercream is really soft. It feels really like it's going to be really moisturizing. I'm going to kind of put it through my hair. Y'all can hear out that noise because that, as I mentioned in the last video, that leave-in condition kind of leaves some bubbles, but, and that washed good. I'm going to apply the Style Goals Gel. I must say, I do feel a difference when I use um, my Denman brush, and I usually do. I feel like I have to be more careful um, so as not to catch any, any knots. It's not feeling so much like the detangling process was as easy as it normally is for me. But I do already feel like this moisturizer is way, I mean, I'm sorry, this gel is way better with the moisturizer. I, I do notice a huge difference. Now I feel more comfortable wearing this for a longer period of time. <clears throat> I think you can easily use all this gel if you're not careful.
All right, y'all, that's going to do it for now. I'm just going to let it air dry. And then when I come back, I'll show you guys the finished effect and how it looks. And I'll tell you how I feel about um, them in a, the, the products in a dried state. So far, so good. I do recommend if you're going to use the gel, then definitely use the buttercream um, with the gel. It feels a lot softer. It feels a lot more moisturized than it did before. Um, I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna turn out really good. But yeah, don't use the gel alone. It's not moisturizing by itself. But with this buttercream, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a, a good little concoction right here. But yeah, I'll be back in a little bit to tell you guys what I think. Hi guys, I'm back. I let my hair dry and now it's probably like three or four hours later. Um, and my hair feels, it feels pretty soft. I feel like it was definitely better to use the, the um, cream and then use the gel afterwards. Um, for me personally, the, the gel is not a standalone. I can't use it as a standalone, uh, but maybe some other hair types are able to. Uh, but yeah, now I really like how it feels. It's soft. Um, styling it was a little bit like I was careful so I can keep my curls. Um, but yeah, I think all in all, I like it. I, I just tell you guys kind of the pros and cons of it. That way you can kind of see if you want to try it out for yourself. Um, some of the cons, like the hair mask, personally for me, and most of these cons are just personally because of my hair type or, you know, maybe just my preference. But the hair mask does not feel very moisturizing to me. Um, that's just, I, I felt like when I was, I kept it in my hair for probably like 15 minutes and it didn't feel like it really did anything for me. Um, but like I said, that's just my personal opinion on, on the hair mask itself. Um, and I have like 4B, 4C-ish type hair. Uh, so so I feel like the gel is not really uh, moisturizing enough to be really a standalone. But I think also just the last thing, I think because of the gel, the, the shampoo didn't really feel as moisturizing either. So before when I used it the first time, yeah, it was really moisturizing. I felt like I could finger detangle my hair as you see if you take a look at the first video that I that I made on the shampoo and conditioner and, and um, leave-in conditioner. Yeah, at that point, those were very moisturizing, but I did feel a difference after I used the gel. Um, so if you use the gel, don't really be surprised if you find that it wasn't, the shampoo didn't give you that moisturizing effect. It's probably just the gel or just a little bit of buildup. So if you try to wash it two, three times, um, and you might, you might see a difference then. Um, the pros, I had a lot of pros really. Um, I felt like the conditioner, the, I love the smell of the conditioner and the mask. Um, the shampoo feels very detangling as I mentioned earlier, but that's if you don't have the gel in it. So I, I really like that about it. Um, the cream and the gel together, they work hand in hand. So uh, personally, if you have like really kinky curly hair like I do, or um, you notice at first that maybe like if you did use the gel by itself, you notice it didn't work out, try and go back again use the cream and then try the gel and I think you'll you'll find that you like it a lot better. It's really soft, it's really moisturizing. You feel like you want to play with play with your hair. <laughs> but I think you'll like it a lot better if you if you go back and do that. It doesn't have any phthal phthalates, sulfates, parabens or alcohol, but it does contain piquet oil, uh, which defines curls, reduces frizz, um, tame split ends and really has a lot of other benefits. They say it's going to be like the new argan oil. Um, and then also one thing that I loved, I, the first, after the first video, I wore my hair for three days with just that gel and I didn't have any flaking after the three days. So that was definitely a plus. If you find that you do like that gel, um, as a standalone, you can look forward to not having to worry about too much flaking going on. I didn't see any flaking, which was awesome. And one night I even slept without my satin scarf. I had a satin pillowcase, but I didn't, I didn't notice anything um, bad as far as product buildup or anything like that in my hair, which was awesome. But all in all, I would say give it a try. Um, I think that you, you're really especially going to like that shampoo 
and that leave-in conditioner. I really love those. I would definitely buy those again. Um, I, I love the overall feel of, of that shampoo. I mean, that shampoo, that conditioner, and that leave-in conditioner. Guys, if you like my video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel to get more videos about hair and hair products and hair reviews. And I will see you guys soon. Go ahead and follow us on Instagram at Miss Smiling All Day Trinae.